Okay, now here are some important terminologies that we have to understand. These are definitions that we have to remember also. So first is what is a interior point? Okay, now what I will do in the set R two, I will take one set. So I will just take. So suppose this is a set S. okay and i will take a point inside that set because i want to define i want to explain you what is meant by a interior point okay so i will take a point p which is having two coordinates so p is a comma b i'm going to take a point p and i want to check whether this point is an interior point or not right so so what is the definition trying to tell me i'm going to tell you now so if you take a point p and then you take any small radius about that point p okay take any small radius so suppose that small radius is r i'm going to take any small radius and i'm going to draw a neighborhood a circular neighborhood around that okay so around this point p if i draw a circular neighborhood then i understand that this circular neighborhood is completely sitting inside the set s it is not going outside the set s okay let me go to a point which is sufficiently close to the boundary i will say can i take a small neighborhood can i choose a small neighborhood so that that circular neighborhood will not go outside the set so i will say fine i can take a smaller neighborhood i radius and then i see that this circular neighborhood does not go outside that set s so if you can do this for every point okay then it is very good okay then that set will be will be given a special name later on okay for the time being it is clear it is very much important for you to understand what is meant by an interior point so when will i say this point is an interior point can i draw a radius sufficiently small which is completely which so that the circular neighborhood is completely contained inside that set s it is not going outside that set if yes then such point is called as a interior point and therefore what about the exterior point it is but obvious what will be an exterior point a point p will be set to be an exterior point if again i can draw a sufficiently small neighborhood so that the circular neighborhood does not go inside the set s okay there is no point in taking such a big large radius right i have to choose a radius sufficiently small smartly enough so that that circular neighborhood will not go inside the set s it should it should not intersect with the set s you can see the intersection here it should not intersect like this it should be very much far away from the set if i go very close to the set s still i can draw a very small neighborhood a circular neighborhood which will be completely what which will be completely outside the set s in that case we will call such points to be what exterior points but there are some funny points for which what happens for some points if i take this point I, if i draw any small neighborhood what is going to happen for that point some points will be inside the set s some points will be outside the set s you take any small neighborhood no matter how small you want still this is going to happen that the neighborhood is going inside the set also half of the neighborhood is going outside the set also such points we are going to call as what we are going to call them as boundary points so i hope these three types of points are now clear to you right now let us see what is meant by an open set so let me drop this first so i'm going to take a set s now i'm not going to include the boundary so i'm removing the boundary so i'm showing it in a dotted fashion so boundary is not there right i'm and this is my set s now we are going to justify that this particular set which is without the boundary is uh, which type of a set is an open set so what is an open set this set says that open set says that take any point that you want inside the set s so take any point right can i draw a small neighborhood about that point so that this neighborhood does not go outside set yes so what is this point call in that case this point is called interior point so take a point and check is it interior point yes 
take another point is it an interior point can i draw a small neighborhood about that point which is not going outside the set yes so this point is also interior point take any other point this point is also interior point right so i take all the points which are inside the set s and i check are they interior point are they interior point for every point which is inside the set s i ask the same question is it an interior point and for all the points i am getting the answer is yes all points in this set are which type of points they are interior point means take any neighborhood it will not go outside the set if such a thing happens then i will call that set to be an open set okay so i hope the the notion of open set is clear all the points of this set must be which type of set must be interior points right now let us define what is meant by a closed set okay so when will i say a set is a closed set so i'll take a set s and i'm including the boundary also so these are also points of set people who are sitting on the boundary are also the points of my set s and i'm asking myself that is this set a closed set okay how will i check this is a closed set what i will do is i will go outside the set s i will take the complement of set s so if this is s If this is s the outside is complement if s has the boundary s complement means the outside part it will not have boundary now instead of looking the inside part try to look the outside part so s complement will not have boundary so where is s complement can i say s complement yes everything like this this is the set s complement okay don't look at the set s inside right so now look at s complement set concentrate on the set s complement or s dash whatever okay and look at the set now here you do what in s complement you do the same logic take a point p and check is it interior point can i draw a small neighborhood which is completely con contained in the set s s dash or s complement yes so this point p is a interior point of which set of the set s complement go here can i draw a small neighborhood so that it does not go inside this set yes i can draw a small neighborhood which does not meets the set s right take any point which is close to the boundary still i can always draw a small neighborhood which is not going to intersect with my set s so in this case all the points which are in s complement are what are interior points and that means that s complement is which type of set s complement is a open set because what is an open set every point in of that set is a interior point so every point in the exterior of of set s means every point in s dash became a interior point and therefore s dash by our definition became what it became an open set so what is a closed set i will say that s is closed the original set s is closed if what if its complement is which type of set if its complement is an open set okay whenever we come across problems related to this thing we will re discuss this about it if it's clear it's very good if it's not clear we may discuss in enough in some few other lectures also so when will i say this say set is closed i will go to its complement and then i will check that it is a open set if that is so the set s will be called as a closed set so i hope this the notion of closed set is also clear to you now let us go to the next definition or the next terminology which is called as a which is called as a connected set okay so i'll take a set s in r2 and i'm going to say this set s is connected very simple definition i will take two points okay and i will i must be able to join a path between them i must be able to draw some straight line or a path it's it's you, you can take any curve you can take any path that path should not go outside this okay there is no point in doing this okay so can i draw one path which is completely inside the set s joining the two points a and b and this i can do for any pair if i take any any pair of a comma b i am able to draw a path joining the two points a and b which is not going outside s that path should not go out so now for example do you think this set is a is a connected set 
How will you join this point and this point? Can you join these two points? Will you join it like this? No. Right. I have to join the two points in such a way so that the path will not go outside my setter. I will say fine. I will go like this and join these two points. Right. So in this case, any two points, taken any two points, I am always able to find a path between them. In this case, we will call that set to be a connected set. So I hope the notion of connected set is also now very clear to you. Like exam for suppose I take two. Uh, this is my set S, which is this and this. Now is this set a connected set? Clearly, it is not a connected set because if I take any two points, I am not able to join them by a path which is completely contained in this part. Right? This part is not in the set S. So you cannot join these two points by a continuous path. So this this set is which type of a set? It is a disconnected set. I mean, that means it is not a connected set. And last definition is what is meant by a region. It's very easy to uh, define region. Let me tell you what is a region. First of all, region must be open and it must be connected. If I have re if I have a set which is both open and connected, then I will say it is a region. So look at this example and I am excluding the boundary now. I am not taking the boundary. Why I am not taking the boundary? Because I want it to, want it to be an open set. Right? If I include the boundary, what will happen? It will become which type of set? It will become a closed set. I don't want the boundary to be in. So this set is obviously S is open. Right? Is it connected? Yes. Take any two points. Can you join them by a path? Yes, you can join them by a path. So this set S is open also and it is connected also. So this set S will be in general. Now we are in short, we are going to call it what? It is a region. In the region is a set which is open and connected both. I hope all the definitions are now clear to you. In the next lectures, we will be defining limits and problems on limits.